Good morning. We was busy last week for sure. He work. Where does he work at? The reason I'm asking, I'm on an eviction right now, but we should be wrapping up pretty early today. But with evictions, I don't know for sure. Until I have some other people, I might could get to do it. It just depends. Where does he work at? Do you have the address? And he's willing to accept service. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you going to email the document to me or how you want to get it to me? Officer of the court, in the bound of the premises, make yourself known. Hey. hey. Who's in here? Somebody in here? Yo. Where you come from? Where did he come from? He came from the cover therapy. Okay, because I'm hearing somebody in here moving. Yeah, there's someone in there. Hey, tell him, hey, who's in here? Also the court. Hello? Hello? Officer of the court, inbound of premises, make yourself known. Hey, hey. Hey. Check out this or this. Me pay the one on one. When did you pay? Maybe this or this. Me pay uh, one that is more. This but, morning? Uh huh. Yeah. Hmm. Just as a courtesy, I'm going to. I'm going to check. No, no, no. Yeah, you Okay, gracias. Is for quite a dinero, huh? No, you talk to him. You pay el primero, este mes. How much money is that? The dinero, how much yeah. in your pocket? <laughs> Me pay the one on one. You know, huh? The one on one. A little English, sir. Ask him how much he pays. Dice cuánto pagó, dice. Ah? Dice cuánto pagó. ¿Cómo? ¿Cuánto es la renta que pagaste? El primero de mayo. No. ¿Cuánto pagaste? Seven hundred fifty dollars. Seven hundred. Seven hundred fifty dollars. 
Uh, yes, you have to call me back in 15 minutes. Yes. Who's in the house? Because I don't see nobody in there. I hadn't checked every room yet. Is somebody in, in That's not somebody in the house because he hears somebody in there when we open the door. Who in there? Where they at? Go, go tell them to come out. A Freda. To the amigos of Freda. Hey, I'm over here at this uh, 1302. This guy's trying to show me, you know, no, I wouldn't even wear you with this, but. So I want to make sure there ain't no confusion. Uh, he's trying to show me receipts that he paid this morning or. Okay. That's all. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> oh, that's all I need to hear. I'm just, I was just verifying one. Right. Well, he's over here flashing money, showing hundred dollar bills and everything. Hey, he told me that in English. Hey, amigo. Hey. Ask him, can he do whatever he wants to do? Whatever the fuck he wants to do, nobody gonna put him out. Did he say that? To the gardener. Thank you. Okay. Hey, get get your other amigos. Vamos. Yeah, yeah, go in and change. Hey. She said environmental. They had already explained it to him. Come on. Tell him to come out. Why? The door is the last one. I think it was open. What? Door open? No. Uh, you, you open. You, you talk to the manager. Talk to your property manager. Let me take these pictures, then I'll talk to you.
Aquí está. Ahí se ha rápido. Ok, one, one second. Y yo tengo, yo pagué el primero de mayo. Pues, pues aquí tengo, como, como es una mona yo. Entonces tengo unos varios, pero como no sé cuál será. Pues esto. Eh, sí, pero, pero ¿cómo se llama? Como a mí una ventanita me han dado para que quede mona y orden. Entonces, pero aparto la colita. Aquí está, es, es un señor agente. Hello. Can you put that on speaker? Is there a speaker? Hello. Huh? Que lo pongas en speaker, quiere el teléfono. There you go, put that on speaker. Is there a speaker, Pablo? ¿Cuál es para el speaker? Para los speakers. Speaker del teléfono. Yo no sé, bo. Que lo ponga en voz alta. Is there no speaker? No. Hello? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Si tú lo pagaste el primero, ¿y por qué no aceptan allá la compañía vieja? Yeah, he's he's being evicted. Hello? Yeah, he's being evicted. Um, they already been through the court process, and the reason they're evicting him is environmental reasons, not because of rent. So you tell him he needs to get his stuff. We, we're going to start moving his stuff out to the street. Yeah, but that, the, the property management don't want the money. Mira. Okay. Here you go.
Let me go. Mira y no opice. No opice, no? Yeah. What about? Pa, pa tomorrow, movie. No, it's too late. We are, we are, we're going to do the moving today. Oh my God. The, the office, the office said they gave you notice. Oh, my friend, you said? Let's go, oh, Freda. Hey. They said they gave you notice already at the office. Officina? Si? Sí? Gave you notice? Ah, vale. Porque tomorrow you're moving. No, we're moving today. Okay, y'all can start. You need to get to get this. Hmm? Okay, let's go. Hey, they said they already talked to you, amigo. They already talked to you. There's nothing I can do. What now? You know we can't do that, Mario. They said they put them out for environmental because of trash. No money. It wasn't because of money. And they said they said that a, a Latino uh -huh. worker came over here and spoke to you, uh -huh. and he told the Latino man go, "Fuck them! They I, they can't put me out." Right. So he was talking. He was talking stuff to the Latino, and the Latino told the manager. Now if he, if he, now, if he got some TVs or something, we can put it over here. You know, valuable. Not everything. Okay. Maybe some stuff, the TV or something. No, she don't have to come out. She she can pack. Tell her she 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 wants to stay in there and pack. She can pack. Okay. Can pack in sus cosas ahí. Yeah, yeah. No problem.
Right, right. They must have cleaned up some of the stuff that was out here. They had a whole, supposedly they had a whole bunch of stuff yeah. and they wouldn't clean it up. Maybe this is it. Maybe this was a fritter and they brought it. Right. That's no good. Oh, there's no good. There's, there's I think, up on this tree. All right. What do you say? So people are probably going to start picking through that stuff without being out there. They should stuff it. Right. You said they're going to start picking through it? Yeah, around this neighborhood they will. <laughs> you said they're going to pick through it while I'm standing here? No, they're going to do it while you're standing here. But... Okay, people in this neighborhood will pick through it there. They think it's being thrown away. You probably want to put a sign on it or something saying eviction or something. Then they'll probably leave it alone. Most people think you're throwing it away if it's on the curb. You think any way you can help out? What do you mean, like? Just stand out here and kind of guard it for us. Make sure no one messes with it. Yeah, I live around the corner. Uh, I don't live in this street. I live around the corner. I just put a sign on it saying, like, up on the boxes and put do not touch eviction or whatever. Okay. It's like I say, would it be on the curb? A lot of people just think it's just got thrown out. They think somebody didn't clean their shit out or something, you know, and it's being thrown away. Right. It should be gone for the month. Yeah, but, you know, even with a sign, you know, sometimes people, they may still try to come and take it. Or get one of them, uh, sit one of them. Keep them on. You don't think you have a little time to help out? I probably can't while y'all are here, but I, I can't sit here all day. Though. You don't have like a truck or a trailer, do you? No. Was the owner still here or they didn't know? No, they here. Oh, oh well, hell, they, they ought to be able to get this shit, uh, take through it and get all their stuff out then. Yeah. <laughs> if, they're here. if I was the owner, that's what I'd do. I'd get all the stuff I wanted to keep and put it to the side somewhere. At least the owners here, they ain't going to work. Yeah, they're here. That's what they just, they was just hoping you was here to help them. Oh, <laughs> Mexican. No. I'm just passing by. How long as the owners is here, my girl? They'll figure out a way to get it made. Right. They probably got friends, got a truck or a trailer. Was there anything you was wanting? Over, so maybe they walk off of that. But as long as the owner's here, I don't know where to go. 
they ain't gonna let nobody touch it. Right. Do any of them speak English? Uh, I think there's one of them that speak English. You want to speak to them? I, I was just thinking if one of them speaks English, you can just let them know they need to make sure, uh, they need to be aware that people will think it got thrown away. They, they need to make sure they get it moved as quickly as possible. That would be my advice to them. Right. Because <laughs> people around here will pick through that shit, especially these homeless people around here. Well, it was a guy here earlier in a gray t-shirt uh, out here trying to take some stuff. I had to chase him down. Gray t-shirt, orange cap. What now? He said the truck seat coming out. So oh, they got a truck coming? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you better try to get it as soon as you can because people around this neighborhood will pick through it thinking you threw it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably want to get it as quick as you can. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on it too because people will pull over like I did. I thought it, I was checking to see if it got thrown away. <laughs> right. Because people always throw stuff away around here. Got a truck coming, so that's a good thing. Yeah, he's got a truck coming. He's probably gonna need you some help. You want me to tell him you're gonna help him out? No, nah, I'm not gonna get on. <laughs> oh, okay. Get on. We well, have a good one, buddy. All right, take it easy now. Hey, we can't put all that stuff. What? What? Y'all can't put everything underneath here. No, it's different. It's a movie to today. What now? It's movie today. Please, it's, it's for me. Yes. How long is it gonna be for the truck gets no, here? No, it's different for people. This is different people. He has different styles. Oh. Yeah. yeah. How many different people is it? Quantas pessoas Três, quatro. Isso é four people. It's four different people? Three. 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 Yeah. Three, Okay. Uh -huh. Isso é every one, he has different styles. So this, this one is the old man, is this the styles. Okay. This styles is for him.
Mario, find out about the stove and the refrigerator. Is it belong to them? You stay here? Yeah, she's staying in the house. Okay. I think it's this company. Okay. Yeah. Do I come here? Este macro de quién es? In the big, in the big y'all. You got the key to it? The key? You don't have the key? Oh. 
Oh, how long? How long? He said 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. It yeah, will wait 10 minutes. Okay. Y en esa casita, ahí ve. Pues sí, también es. Oh, dice. Él tiene cosas ahí. You don't have no key to this one either? No. How long did y'all live here? How long y'all live with key? ¿Cuánto tiempo van a vivir aquí? ¿Que yo? Que pintaron. No, que si cuánto tiempo van a estar aquí. No, pues yo me voy hoy. Dice, sí, go, nada. Now, tell me, how long did they live here? Two years. Two years. Does he have the, the guy coming? Does he have a key to this one too? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love my job, man. Why would I not like it? I don't know. If you had a place and someone was, was in your place and you wanted them out, wouldn't you be happy to get them out? Yeah. I know. I own mine. I've lived here since we bought our house over on at 69 since Rushwood. We bought our house in 32. And I grew up in the house. And when I lost my, my, me and my husband lived there, and then I lost him the 27th of January. And I'm still there. It needs a lot of work done because it's an old house. But other than that, I wouldn't take nothing more. It's peaceful, you know, knowing that you own something and you've worked hard for it. And that's what people should do, you know, yeah. if they're Take not. Care, you know. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have a ramp bill like that years ago for him because he got to where he couldn't walk, and I never could figure out how to do it. So. Right. You know. But I told him if he didn't want any of it, I would take some of it home because them shells look good. <laughs> <laughs> I got two little goats and they love to climb on something. I'm trying to make them like an area where they can jump and exercise. One of them is four months old and the other one's two years old. And they're kind of shy because you had to catch the billy goat, which is four months old in order to get the female in there. So what made you decide to get goats? Um, well, um, my husband had one when he was little, a white one, and we found one over in Somerville. And he, he don't, he kind of walks proud like a goat, but he hops like a little deer sprint. And then I got him a play, um, made because he would just stand there, you know, and he'd play with the dogs because I got a little nin pin. And I found another one that she's real pretty. She's got the husky looking eyes. And I fell in love with the eyes and I found me one and she's two years old. And he's the happiest little goat. They stay together and the only way to catch her is she's kind of like a bashful goat is catch him and she follows him. But it, it helps, you know, with some of the grass. And when you've had a hard day and everything, it, they're just fun to watch. Right. You know, so they're just fun to watch and they're a lot of entertainment because if you're mad and you, you just don't, instead of taking it out on people, which I never have, and I know a lot of people do, I just go home and I sit back there and it's just a relaxing feeling. Right. Because I had to retire, I was a security officer and I had to retire to take care of my husband. Who are you working security for? Allied security. So, you know, and I kind of missed it, and I said, well, you know, I got ended up getting this pension and everything because he was on the fire department. And ever since then, you know, I just found stuff to do instead of, I said, well, maybe I want to go back to work, and I said, no. But now I'm looking for a place out in the country, you know, something like with a trailer, maybe a one-bedroom. Right. Well, that's a three-bedroom down there. 
And, you know, that way, maybe if I wanted to breed goats and sell them, which I thought about, then, you know, I, I'll be able to do it. So there's a real if market for court, that? You know, because when my neighbor died, they ended up, they had a rot water in it. We had bought, you know, they were my daughter's goats, so we gave them two of them, and um, the little girl started crying, so we went to Conway and bought a little African pygmy goat, just as cute as he been, the rock got a hold of it. And he was like a zombie goat, he'd just go, meh, meh. He didn't know who he was. And I said, I can't have him live that way. It's no life for anybody, you know, because you wouldn't want your child to go through it. And he was like a kid, you know, and he was a funny little goat. And I told him, I said, no. I said, I won't trust a Rottweiler or a pit. And, you know, so. But I keep mine pretty well because I've got a Pyrenees that he's a goat dog. And he's seven years old, but, you know, he's size a lot of people are just scared of him. But he's just a gentle dog. And he's a good dog. So, you know, it don't bother me. I like my life, you know. I'm happy with it, you know. I'm, I can't say that I'm disappointed at seeing people thrown out of houses, really, because, you know, if they wanted a place to live, they would try harder. Well, if you want, want them, I can uh, get the crew. We can move them, this stuff to your place. You want to help I them out? I want all of it. I asked him, did he want to throw any of it away, and he said he didn't know. No, I'm talking about you, boys, you helping them. They can move in with you. Uh-uh, no. You know, I had... You know, when I took care of my husband, I took care of him for eight months. When he started going down, and none of his family helped, none of his grandkids, and see. And about two weeks ago, I get a call from his son, his wife. Can my daughter move in? I said, well, put it this way. If her boyfriend don't want her there, their family don't want her, her friends don't want her, and y'all don't want her in your house, and she abandoned her children, then why would I want her in my house? Exactly. But here's you the know, thing, though. And that's a point, you know, and he said, well, you, but, but here's you my point. My here's why I said that. Now, here, here's what I get. I get people say, well, this is sad, the eviction. No, not really. So then when I say to that same person, well, why don't you let them move in and stay with you for free for no, a while? Because if you look then the at person it, says, oh, no way. Well, you know, when you get the call and you have to do this job, the way I look at it, I may have put it wrong the other way, but, you know, if they wanted it bad enough and it meant something to them, they will try harder. Right. You know, they wouldn't let it, like some of these people letting the bills go and everything, they wouldn't do that and then wonder why somebody in your position has to show up and do their, that. Right. Because it could easily be you. you. You could decide to get that trailer and to raise those, breed those goats. And, and instead of selling your place here, you may decide to rent it out. Right. So you're renting it out, then the person moves in, tears it up, don't pay you. You're going to call me. Right. It's not going to be a sad day when I remove them. You're going to be a good day. Right. Because you're going to say, this is, I've had this house for how many years? Uh, in 32. 32 years. I decided to rent it out, and look what happens. Mm -hmm. So I need Mr. Penn to go over and move these folks out. How long out. have you been doing this? <laughs> I, I first originally started in 99. Okay. So I've been doing it for a while. But yeah, for the, for the person who owns the place, it's this a great nice day. House. It's not a sad day. It looks like a two bedroom. But it's a nice house. Right. Very nice. But I mean, it happens, so, you know. Yeah. It's just one of the things that happen. Because even if he does move it little by little, if somebody sees them, they want it, they're going to take it, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. So what is it that you see that you like? The shelves. And that bottle there, the green bottle, I collect bottles. Mm. But he started hollering, no, no, so I don't know. He should come back later, that's all I want, I don't want anything else. I just, I got a microwave, you know, and then, you know, I just put some stuff on it. I collect horses, rare stuff that nobody else has because I can I say, well, you know, I've never seen anybody that I know with something like this, so it's different. Right. You know, I've always been that way. You know, that's just the way I've been. And then, you know, I get stuff and I help people, you know, that don't have anything. I took that after my grandmother. Right. You know, and that's just the way I did. And then I'm trying to find something that I can kind of figure out like a play area because, you know, goats are active to where, you know, it can tone their muscles up. Right. You know.
So how much it goes go for? What's the cost? Well, sometimes if they're rehoming them, you can get them like for 75. Um, a pygmy, he's half pygmy, half Nigerian. I got him for 75. You can find some of them like for 150 if they're paired up, or 175 if you want to split them up. And then you can find some that people just don't want anymore. This, you know, it's either find them a home, sell them, or slaughter them. Right. You know, and that's just the way, you know. So I don't know if he wants to get rid of any of that stuff or whatever. I got a truck at home, but I drive this mainly. I just use my truck like if I need hay or something. Right. But, and I like that. I would say I like that land, but you know, it's plastic. But, you know, that's what I was going to take. I wasn't going to take everything you own or didn't own. I think they can get shape. I'm going to look. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want in two shells. How much longer, Mario? And I can use them and then run some messed up. But I like that bottle. No, it ain't on three hours. Let me see. Hey, did the, did the locksmith leave the key? Yeah, the locksmith. Where the key? Not so much for the house. Okay, yeah, I'm almost done. Get everything out of here? Yeah. 